raised up and were winning the battle. As soon as his arms started going down, they started losing the battle. So they realized that and they started helping to hold his arms up so they could get him finish the battle. Glory to God. They was with him. Glory to God. And so um, the Lord says, I know that word that thou be a cold in our heart. I would that thou would work cold in our heart. It says, so in verse 16, so then because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot. Now we all have tasted lukewarm things, or, and you like this. <laughs> you know, it's either it was, you know, and, and the course that's this coffee or something. It's like you want your coffee hot, you know. And when it gets to a certain like lukewarm temperature, it's not the same. <laughs> it's like put it back in a microwave, put it in a microwave, let me get it. And so, it, and so if we feel that way about our certain things that we like, and, and just like how can the will of God, how He said. You know, for us, you know, he, he doesn't like lukewarm that he lukewarm Christians. I just like one day I'm one day I'm you know I'm, I'm for you, next day I'm down. One day I'm you know it's back back and, back and forth, back and forth. And he's looking at like, what are you gonna make up your mind? <laughs> so and but and we all have been there. So we're not gonna talk like we all are there. You know, for we all have been there and lukewarm. We've been to this area where God but us when this the later sees the church. Lukewarm, and thank God that at one time when we like you say in and out, and it's like, oh God, you can imagine how you can imagine how you're confusing God. <laughs> it's like, okay, because He wants the best for us. He rather he preferred us to hot, you know, so that way we can change us on fire for Him and do His will. It says, so then because God are lukewarm and neither cold or our hot, I will spew thee out, spew thee out of my mouth. Because thou sayest, I am rich and increased with goods, and have need of nothing, and knowest not that thou art rich and visible and poor and blind and naked. Glory to God. Knowest not that they are all these other things. My God. It's, and these are all going to open up more as we go into the lesson. Verse 18 says, I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire. That thou mayest be rich and white rain, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness be not appear. And anoint thy eyes with I, I say, that my that thou mayest see. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. These zealous therefore can remain. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him, and he will suck for him, and he with me. To him that overcome will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and set and I am set down by with my father in his throne. He that had an ear, and this is how he up into so much for all of the churches and the letters of the churches of each each and every uh, angel of the church. He said, He that had an ear, let him hear what the spirit says unto the churches. And we as we go into our culture connection. This, I'm telling you, this is Pastor Roy. This culture connection, uh, connection, Lord knows, I, this reminder, this, this is followed by so much of me. I found myself right in that culture connection because I can remember, my God, I said, my first game of the I was sitting in the back. Just, you know, on that back row, because I, I was visiting. <laughs> and I, I had no idea what, was, what, what God was doing, but I was just visiting. I came here to visit. You know, and before I, uh, I started back there, I was back there, before I realized I moved up to the next row. And, and then I realized one time I came over here to Mother Tyler's, which she just sat right on that second row, mm -hmm. right there. And I don't know what made me come over there sitting <laughs> over there. <laughs> but I'm up, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. See, God, God is smooth, my, you know, when he's wooing, you don't, you don't know, you just like, you just think, wow, you know, I enjoy what I heard, I enjoy this, and, you know, and, and before you realize it, I was sitting over there, and I remember uh, uh, there was a testimony. I said something, and I was just thanking God, you know, for when you get knocked down. I thank God that when you get knocked down, that He will say a seventh man will fall with this, this, but a good man will fall seven times, and the Lord will raise him up. Glory to God. I thank God that so many times I got knocked down. <laughs> Glory to God. But God raised me back up. Glory to God. So I, so I remember that testimony all the way back there. So it was God that did it. And I didn't realize there was some times I had to go through. That was going to be knocked down. Glory to God. 
it took God to raise me back up. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And so, so all the way, man, so, so much God can hear. Oh, Lord, it's a long story, but I'm, we're going to read the folks here next year. We're going to see how God used this, this young man. And of course, I mean, I didn't go through, I didn't have his, his, uh, his resume, <laughs> but I, I, I love his resume. But it showed that for us how he came into the church and he wasn't ready. He, he, uh, he, was, he was kind of felt like he was out of tune or out of, uh, he was ready to leave that church. And then and because it was a different church from where he was raised in. And then all of a sudden he realized that this was the spirit of the Lord that was, that was working. Glory to God. And so, he, so we're going to see that. And that's what I, I was just as confused as me because I grew up Baptist and I, I didn't know of a lot of different things, you know, for a lot of certain other things. And, it, and it's not that it was nothing bad on the other side. I just said, I, well, I just, I was just like, wow, why are they running? Why are they shouting? Why, what's, what's the point? Why are doing all this? You know, and I, you know, it was a little different for me, you know. And so, yeah, but, but, I, but I thank God that he, he kept me coming because as long as you keep coming, you get an understanding. See, it's when, it's when you stop coming. And all of a sudden, you find yourself, you think, you know, it's almost like if you stagnant, and this is the lesson too, if you stay stagnant, are you going back? But as long as you keep coming, God, God, if God got to send somebody in this, in this church, so, that, so you get the understanding that you need. Hallelujah. You don't know what Sunday, you don't know what Bible class, you don't know what my prayer, you don't know but with God. When you meet God, glory to God, it's some about glory to God. He is going to make sure that you get what you need. Glory to God. He will not leave you helpless. Glory to God. He is the help. Glory to God. And he will send you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We know that he looked up all, all, all over, but he sent himself. Glory to God. That's the God that we serve. If we can't find our help, give our help. Give our help. Glory to God. Glory to God. And I guarantee you, because it's happened to me, and I know it happened to you. Hallelujah. You might have came in looking for something else, but God had a whole other fish, a whole other something else that he wanted you. You were worried about this and things about that, but God Glory to God. If I am serious that he got the sin in somebody else. Oh, glory to God. Because he know you pressed your way. He know that you push beyond self. Hallelujah. He will bless you for doing that. I say all the time, it is real. When you press beyond yourself, glory to God. God will answer. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So we're talking about the golden connection, a young man, glory to God. Hallelujah. That was a teacher. And he was the guy. He was a teacher at age. I mean, he was in, in class. He was, it says he taught his first Sunday school class at age nine years old. See, when God is in your life, God, you find yourself doing things you don't even never think, think you were able to do. He attended a thousand member church in my hands, Texas. And by age 15, he was the permanent teacher. <laughs> 15 was the permanent teacher of the nine-year-old Sunday school class at age 15. Glory to God. At age 18, his name was Roy. It says Roy taught an after-school class and participated in math, declamation, and persuasive speaking competitions. While returning from a competition at the University Interscholistic League, he met a German named Carolyn, who in see, 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 see who God does. See how school we is? Yes. See how yes. yeah, look at the connection. I really I say that I love this because I didn't I seem to feel in the eighth grade. I was gonna walk behind her and her friend. I didn't know nothing about Revelation Church. I had no idea what was going on in Rome. Only I knew is sometimes I walked by here and then people was on fire. They were beautiful. You just heard the music come out. I didn't know what was going on. I heard the music. I heard this. This is a during a week. That's what I was on the Sunday. Glory to God. Oh, glory to God. But I, when I followed her, you know, not followed her, but I, I was behind her because she went to the doom and I went to the doom. So there was times I didn't even know who she was. Only thing I knew was I was following her behind her. Praise God. I was following behind her and I used to call her Red Coat. Because <laughs> all they got to remember was Red, red Coat. And then one day, I looked across the campus, and I realized that I said, uh, and my friend, 
remember any of the old saints, the old ladies, any, any set, no way, we walk together and heard her baby come from her friend, they went out in the time to walk together. And here it is, we walk in, and when, when after about a few a month or whatever, I was again on the living across the campus at a great time, at a great time. And I looked and I said, Ooh, see, this ain't no way to carry all of this. Now, when I see the little walk behind her, we're ready to She's a long ponytail. But then when I, but then this particular day, I looked across the campus, real too, I'm not making this up. I looked across the campus and I truly looked and I seen this young lady, I mean, out of all these people that are, that are in front of me, but I seen her. And, and when I seen her, I said, man, I said, who is that? He said, that's Red Coat, man. <laughs> Red Coat, that's Red Coat. And we have friends, and we have little ones, we have ones that have been through and messed up, Lord 
Glory to God. Hallelujah. He's the only one to derail you and to take you off of that and another track and go around this stuff. Glory to God. This is your humbling. Homeboys are humbling. But God. Glory to God. He knows when to take you off and when to bring you back. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So, hallelujah. But God. Glory to God. Glory to God. So this is what this young man. Yeah. This is your lady. God had a plan and a purpose for him. Roy's first visit to the Pentecostal church was nearly his last. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I understand it. That's why I saw that still oh my God. Because I feel like, oh Lord, oh, listen, I need you to listen. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> but God, glory to God, God has a way. He has a way of just, I say, smooth. Yeah, smooth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because he knows you don't understand. Yeah. Glory to God. He knows I got to open up his understanding. But he knows, just like when he, he fed the 5,000 and the 4,000. Yes. Before he gave them the word, he could make sure they fit. Yes, amen. So here it is. He know that he, he has to open up my understanding before I can do certain things. And so when I'm driving on the Harbor Freeway or the 101 Freeway, all of a sudden uh, he had dropped something down right there. And I said, oh my God, that's what he means. Glory to God. And I said, oh my God, that's what he means. Hallelujah, the deity and everything. One God, one, one faith, yeah. one baptism. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. One, one, one. Glory to yeah. God. Yeah. Hallelujah. You open up my understanding of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I'm one. Glory yeah. to God. Yeah. I'm God. Glory to God. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hallelujah. 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 When I'm talking high up, I'm thinking as I'm leaving, I'll be thinking back what God did. Glory to God. And I know it was nothing but God. Hallelujah. When my elbow broke, when I didn't know, I didn't understand. Glory to God. But God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. My God. Oh, glory. The name of the Lord. It says numerous things stood out to avoid this young man in the culture of confession. <clears throat> Before he, as he was ready to leave this church, numerous things stood out to avoid. The church was pastored by a woman. Uh oh, oh my see what I'm saying? He wasn't ready for this. <laughs> it was pastored by a woman. And we got a message. Thank God, God opened my understanding. When we go through the Word of God, and when we see, when God comes out, when God, when, when on the day when the Lord rose, who was the first ones that there? Women. Who did he send first? Woman. Glory to God. He sent a woman to tell my disciples. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If he didn't have no place for women, it would not be a he would have seen it in the Bible. But God got a place. Glory to God. So it was our understanding has to be open to see that God can use who he wants to do. We can't limit God. Well, so that's the first mistake we put our limit and put it in this box. And God lets you know, I'm bigger than this box. Glory to God. I'm God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So the man, as he seen this, he said, first, he seen that the church was pastored by a woman. The people were extremely demonstrative. <laughs> you see people you know, shout and raise their hands and that. You know, and he's like, whoa, what's going on? What's going on here? And the music was loud. <laughs> oh Lord. Isn't that something how we can we can ride down the street and people playing loud music and it don't bother us? We got names that they you know, I say it don't bother you, but you got the point though, you hear the law of music, but it doesn't make you think about not driving anymore. Right, you, you, right. you just say, okay, I just, you know, them, you roll me one up, look at one up, because you know, if you're trying to switch your gospel, okay, let's just say, no problem, you know, not, but you're not, but it'll stop you from driving. Right. It'll stop you from going that same path right. as you were going. Glory to God. Hallelujah. People that's playing a lot of music in their houses next to you. It didn't, it didn't make, you didn't get up and move across the town because that, because that day, a couple of days, they played loud music. Right, right. Now, we come to the house of the Lord and they play loud music. But then we had to get an understanding of what they're doing and why they're doing it. Everybody just playing it. It's under the spirit of the Lord, God, Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. And when you got a, when you got a position that's playing under the authority of God, God, Lord. Hallelujah, you can make a rainbow song turn to us, a worship song. Yeah. Hallelujah. And you know that that's, oh, but have you heard a CD? And you can feel the anointing coming out of the CD. Yeah. Hallelujah. And you heard another song that sung, a, another person sang that same, sung that same song. But the anointing was different. But through this one, it was anointing. Yeah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. So, it's, so God can anoint the music. So it's not just loud, but it's a worship of God. Yeah. Oh. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But he as he but as as he was seeing this, his understanding had to be over. And it says numerous things. Um it says yes, so that was on the book. These all made Roy uncomfortable <laughs> because they were quite unlike what he thought his thought church was supposed to be. See, that's the box. The box in the box of God in the box. What it's supposed to be like when God wants to be God, when He wants to move and He wants to touch, there's somebody He wants to heal, there's somebody He wants to transform, there's somebody He wants to deliver. Glory, we got enough better come out of the box. Glory, we can't put it first, we can't put it in the box. Glory to God. But that's how He was thinking here. I'm supposed to be. Glory to God. He did not plan to return to this church. But in Roy's own words, something got a hold of me. <laughs> Glory to God. That's it. Something got a hold of me. Hallelujah. Yeah. My God, there's something. I was my, my, my co worker of uh, mine, and he said, and, and 
and he didn't tell me, but he didn't tell me about the Holy Ghost. And he remembered that he was at the church when he went out with me. And he let me know. He said, uh, he said, he said, I want to make you notice something that happened. Probably got a hold of me. <laughs> Glory to God. I mean, he, know, he said he was, it was something he was, and then one place he was driving and his car uh, flipped around and did something. It turned around so many times this this, 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 this part, this itself. Yeah. God kept showing him things that I'm not. Yeah, I'm Glory to God. And I'm like, when he was telling me, I'm like, it's my supervisor telling me about the Holy Ghost, you know. I'm like, wow, you know. And so God put people on things in your place. Yeah. And you don't understand. And you don't even realize it's not the supervisor telling you about something. Yeah. And you're like, no, nah, you're not going to come out. He's telling me, I don't know more about this. Right. <laughs> I'm at the church. <laughs> I'm at the place. Oh, glory to God. I'm at when the Holy Ghost is gone. Right. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I found my oh glory to God. This is true. I found myself. I would get off work Monday night. Oh, glory to God. I was, I said, if I could just, I'm a business child of a woman, if I could just make it to church, glory to God. I know I would get a word. Oh, glory to God. If I could just make it in the building, that's the way I felt, Lord, in my heart. If I could just make it in, bro. That was a tall glory. Hallelujah, talk about hallelujah, lukewarm and cold. I need it, God. I want it, God. I need more, God. Oh, glory, God. There's a point where you got to want it. You got to need it. Hallelujah. And you press to wait. But you press, glory, God. You don't wait for nothing. You press, glory, God. Oh, 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 glory, God
That's the way they became pastor. Right? But God took it through something. Before it became pastor, right? God has said things God has to take through before we become who He wants us to be. But we gotta be, but we gotta go through. And he just like he had to learn this. We have to be willing to learn. Glory to God. And not jump ship. We know the situation going to call. They jump ship. He told them, don't jump to stop. Stay with the ship. Because even when the ship went down, there were parts of the ship that, that saw was saved because they were able to grab parts of the ship. Stay with the ship. You will be saved, glory to God. They had to go through something. Glory to God. We all have to go through something. But if I'm jumping ship, every time when this happens, when that happens, this goes down, that goes down. Who am I serving? Glory to God. When I realize I'm serving the living God, glory to God. He can take whatever situation I'm going through and turn it around. Glory to God, because he's God. Hallelujah. I believe he's going to jump up too. Glory to God to get away from this. But you can only be something worse. Who am I serving? Glory to God. It's the living God that we're serving. He's God. Glory to God. If my situation is not as pleased, he can turn my situation. When he's seen that I trust in him, only glory to God. He would say, I don't care who he has to touch. I don't care who he has to bring. He's God, glory to God. And watch your situation change. Watch your transformation. Watch God move. Glory to God. He will move. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because he's that type of God. He's going to say something and take it back. He means what he's saying. And he says what he means. Glory to God. Glory to God. This is good. Yeah. Opening the door. Yeah. Opening the door. Hallelujah. Because we need him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We don't got me like we don't have, we never been to be so big or we don't need God. Amen. Glory to God. That is a that is a trap of the enemy. When I get to a point where I don't need God, I've got a title and I don't need God. That's the first big mistake. You need to be even more so like ever because you became a guard. Hallelujah. Because the higher you can, you better believe the enemy sends some dark story to God. Hallelujah. That's why I take you down. Hallelujah. He's putting traps, bull traps. Glory to God. Everything he knows what you like, he knows what you don't like. God, glory to God. Just like God knows, I, the enemy says, Oh, I, I know you don't like this. I know you do like this. I know you don't respond to that. But oh, you respond to this. Glory But our God. Thank God. Hallelujah. He knows us. And he knows the enemy. So as he lays his tracks, I was saying earlier about taking you off the track. Because he's seeing what's coming down the path. The enemy wants to put you to fall right there. Hallelujah. But God said, time to reroute you. <laughs> Glory to God. Reroute you. Going to another path. Hallelujah. And then it, it becomes a point where he's got to take you over. Glory to God. He's got to take you over. Glory to God. There are times where he just said, Buckle up. We're going through the path. Hallelujah. Buckle up. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You have to see the guy with a book after a book up. I don't know this. I'm Suit up. Glory to God. Go home, oh God. Hallelujah. We're going through. Glory to God. Glory to God. No matter how we got that, we got that. He just does it, though. No matter if he takes you through it, if he takes you around it, over it, under it, however, it's God. That's the main thing. It's God. And as we submit ourselves to him, he's able to move us in and out, around and over. Because he's God. He sees the traps. He sees what's up ahead. He sees all the landmines, things we don't even see. One of those countries that put mines up in, in other countries. And this was after the war was over. Those same mines were still there in those lands. 
and people were getting killed because they walk into these areas and those landmines were still hot some of them. People were getting killed because of things that were set years ago. So it takes God for the things that our natural eyes cannot see. No. And he takes you around it and over it between whatever the situation because you don't see it. But God sees it. He knows it's there. He knows who put it there. Glory to God. He knows who the enemy is that put it there. It might have been a year ago. It might have been five years ago. But God knows it's there. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. And he will take you. Glory to God. Because he's God. Because he's, he's the one that's God. He's sitting in his hand. Hear things that we all do. That's why we don't have to worry about what someone here or saying or doing. Just find yourself doing the will of God. Amen. God takes care of the rest. Glory to God. No, we don't wish a will on nobody. You want the best. You want everyone to be saved. Everyone to be delivered. Everyone to go to heaven. Glory to God. So you don't want to wish that on no. How do you want the best for someone? So, but God, hallelujah, he sees all the different things. He sees it. So we get pray for us. And that saying this or doing this, you pray for him. And just say, Lord, help me. Help me too at the same time. Glory to God. Because I, I said earlier, oh, never too big, never too, don't get to one word. I don't need that. I need his help. Every day, every man, glory to God. I look like I was like, oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> oh, Lord. But this young man, and it says here, he attended college in Austin, Texas. And Carol, there's Carolyn again. Uh oh, Carolyn, I'm not the picture yet. Carolyn's still there. <laughs> Carolyn helped, I mean, Carolyn helped him locate a church. Okay. All right. See, this is what I'm saying. Thanks for God. God will be. Oh, that's what I'm not ready. So I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> oh, glory to God. Carolyn and pastors from both uh, helped him locate his church. Carolyn and pastors from both churches, uh, from his church and the church in Austin, played a large role in his continuing journey of faith. But nothing more so than his intense study of the Bible. Glory to God. To the word of God. Through prayer and study, God revealed to Roy his need. As he said, yeah, he revealed to Roy his need to be baptized in Jesus' name. You see what I'm saying? How God, he was, he was smooth how he did it. Then he opened up his understanding to that he needs to be baptized in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We're not talking about it. In Jesus' name, we're talking about Bible. Glory to God. It said, then during the Bible services, Lord received the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Roy never imagined the impact the Holy Ghost would have on his life. He responded to a call to preach, withdrew from his aerospace engineering program, and within four years started a new church plan. Many challenges arose. Now, this is that. See, up to that. See, this is what we got to understand. I thank God for this book today. This is being real. It lets you know after all, I've received the Holy Ghost. After God is doing this in his life, it says, What? Many challenges arose. He didn't have a clean slate after he received the Holy Ghost. It wasn't just God, I mean, nothing's going to happen. Nobody's going to slide on. Nobody's going to talk about it. Nobody's going to go back to the Lord and say, No. Hallelujah. The more higher we get at God, those things are the things that, that the, the word tells us we will be persecuted. But his name's seek. Glory to God. So trials are going to come. Arrows are going to come. It's part of it. But it says here, many challenges arose for boy did not allow himself to be stagnant. Stagnant. When it's water is stagnant, it becomes it starts stinking. I don't know if you ever seen that. When the water, when the water stops flowing, all of a sudden, you have a while it starts stinking because it becomes stagnant. It's not moving. 
Lord, Lord is the flow of the water. You got fresh water keep on coming in. Keeps going. But when it just stagnant, that means we're not moving. We're not going anywhere. We're not growing. We're not doing anything. We're not reading. We're not praying. We're not fasting. We're not coming to church. We're not doing. We become stagnant. And we and and we sit and I got the oh my God. It's it's it's, it's, it's like we become and, and, and we become oh my God. In God's nostrils, we sit in the south room because we stagnant. He don't want us lukewarm. Lord, I'm cold. He wants us hot. Glory. Moving, glory. We are mindless zone. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now, oh my God. Hallelujah. So as we continue to move and we're able to grow, we now become stagnant. And that's what he does want us. And that's what the young man, he said that many challenges arose, but he did, but boy, did not allow him to be through the challenges. Because it's true. Challenges will sweat. sometimes will, will stop you in your track. Because it's because it's like, what not? You know, it hurts. Whatever you're dealing with, I thought I was able to you because you had the plan. Not God's plan. You had no plan. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, it comes, you know, you got this happen. And you're like, and it's a challenge. And so he thought about it. And he could, it could stop you for you for a second, for a minute, for a day, for a week. It could really stop you. And you, feel, and, and you don't feel like doing that. You don't feel like doing this. You don't feel like doing that. But I thank God I found out. Keep moving. I don't want to keep moving. If I, hallelujah, I went to a job that I could not stand it anymore. Like, well, to be honest, that's what it was. I loved, I thank God for the work, but it came to a point I was up to here because I felt like that, I, that I, I'm better than what I'm doing. I felt like, but I had to humble myself. It wasn't until Glenn humbled himself. At the same job that he was up to here, then God, I felt like I was stagnant, couldn't go no further, couldn't go nowhere, couldn't climb any higher, couldn't do anything. But God turned around and transformed my mind in the midst of the job. Because what he did, he thought he gave me us. Oh, Lord. First, I had to sit and humble myself under the mighty hand of God. And it said, if you humble yourself, he will exalt you in due time. Oh, glory to God. It's pretty little glory to God. I'm saying in due time, with God is grace, he will exalt you. Glory to God. I've seen it. It's real. But I have to submit and humble myself. And when I humble myself at the same job, God turned my mind, turned my thoughts. And before I realized, I started going to the same job. Glory to God. Started liking it. Started enjoying it. He had me go a different route on how I was doing my work. Glory to God. He took me off the track. He routed me. Gave me a new mind. A new thought process. Glory to God. It was God because I was ready to jump ship. I mean, I was with you. I was ready to get out of here. But I had to realize it's not all about Glenn. Glory to God. You are married now. You got a family. Glory to God. You need benefits. You got no glory. Oh, so, God. I thank God. God changed my mind, changed my heart. Oh, glory to God. Because I'm not too much. I leave all this in a blend. It'll be a blend. But you don't know who you just You don't know who else you're affecting. Amen. Amen. You think it's just you. Amen. Amen. It's a, it's a domino effect. Amen. You know it's a fact. It starts with you. Amen. And then a domino effect falls back. And before you like you were touching here, you're affecting over there. Then I found myself, I have glory to God. I still got to pass the test. I failed the test. The test is coming around again. And I'll be ready for it the next time. So I submit myself under the hum, on the mighty hand of God. So when the test comes around again, I let God use me. Let God direct me. Let God find my own glory. Glory to God. 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 
Oh, yes. Such a good man. Oh, my Lord. Hallelujah. Nothing good about you is the dog. It's God is ordering the steps. Oh, Lord. Oh, 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 God. Hallelujah. My God, my God. We have you. Oh, that's right. We allow me to see that. I can go 50 miles that way, 100 miles that way, trying to get around, trying to get over, trying to guess who do am I serving? I have to realize who am I serving? God, the God that I serve. Hallelujah. He says he will give you peace. Hallelujah. In the midst of a storm. Glory to God. And then he tells you how to build in the midst of Hallelujah. How to build for a storm. Glory to God. The word tells us how to build. So when a storm comes, you are, you are already planted and you're ready to when this, you know, glory to God, that storms will come. Not to be, hallelujah. Not to not think that a storm will not come. That's the first strong move, but God has to enlighten. And so, yeah, way you are in tune that this can happen. So, He prepares you for the storms of life because they come. But we grow in the process of the storm. If we run from the storm, Because we find that over. You try to find a place of, uh, you want to find a place to run over here. That's going to be a storm over there, too. That's going to be a hurricane over there. That's going to be a tidal wave, a tsunami over there. What are you going to do when you get there? Somewhere along the line, we got to bubble up, put our feet and say, For God I live, for God I die. Glory to God. He is the one. That, 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 that takes me in and, and whenever I go in and through, it's him that takes me. When I get to it, it's him that takes me through it. Glory to God. And brings me out of it. Not me, it's God. Glory to God. Because what happens is when you're so running, you're constantly in running. Because the enemy knows that if I put this in this way, he's going to run. I put this over here, he goes uh, back up. Hallelujah. We serve the living God. Lord Jesus Christ Himself. He died that we may live. And He just said, He just said, give us life, and He gave us life what? More abundantly. So He is our sure guide. Glory to God. He is our director and our leader. Oh my God. What time? Is it? But we thank God for the past glory. Thank God that it was, he was very, he told us, this, we learned he was his coach for that show because he allowed him, he shows the realness of the side. Transparent, that's what I mean. We thank God that transparent here because that was what he received the Holy Ghost. And all of, then all of a sudden, challenges came. And he had to deal with it. Otherwise, he would say, Set. And show that he dealt with it. He, it says, as a, that he says, he, he, said he persisted in opening himself to God's will. <coughs> and choosing an unbroken relationship with Jesus. Roy Moss pastor in Barksville, Oklahoma, for 46 years. True Tabernacle Unified, the United Pentecostal Church is still a thriving church today because the Lord reached for Roy and he responded. He responded to the call. God, God reached for him and he responded. God reached for us, He wants us to respond. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So, the lesson says, let's talk about I know that works. And hallelujah. Glory to God. We want to. <laughs> 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 
talk to you. I've never become a person over there, so <laughs> but the Lord wants to like, you know, I know how it works. And talk about he was who you are this now. The Lord wants us to serve him with our whole heart. Glory to God. Not our passive heart, you know, but our whole heart. He says, God has filled us too. Amen. That's in section B. Page 64 it says, God has filled us to be expressed his love in us by manifesting himself in flesh and dying on the cross. He has offered forgiveness of sins and eternal life to those who believe. But true faith will include spiritual passion. According to Jesus, the first and greatest commandment is, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God. But all of thy heart and with all of thy soul and with all of thy mind. Many things in life do not work unless they are done purposely and powerfully. We have all learned to avoid sluggish chainsaws, dull knives, and that's true. Naturally, we have, we have all learned to avoid sluggish chainsaws, dull knives, sleepy drivers. <laughs> integrated pilots and haphazard relationships. A few of us will settle for careless surgeons, dirty restaurants, or entertainment babysitters. Yet many settle for a mediocre relationship with God. When it is the relationship we should be most careful and most passionate about. Because when we give him our best, because he already gave us his best, when we give him our best, we watch him turn around and we do for him. When we give him your best, glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It says, when it is written, it demands, it says, when it is, when it is a relationship, we should be most careful and most passionate. It demands total by him. All men. Much like bungee jumping <laughs> and skydiving, God will sell for nothing less. So he can be. If you notice, God does not reject anyone from lack of skill or gifting. It is something. He knows our weakness. He knows our shortcomings. He knows our thinking process, thought process. Mindset, he, he knows everything about us. He knows how we normally think this way. How we, he knows all oh, everything, all this about us. But he yet still loves us. Yes, still wants to save us. Yes, still will give us a gift. And turn around. <laughs> he does all this for us, even when he knows we are totally messed up. And he yet will treasure, treasure us like we were precious. A diamond. Precious. Where here is that's why the word said, what is the name? What is the name? Because it's like you, you, you die for him. What is man? But God loves us. That's how much he loves us. That he would die for us. Because he knows he wants us to back him to live in fellowship with him. And he, at the same time, he knows what's in us. When other people write you off, that's the right time that God said, okay, let them know. Thank you, Lord. But now, because yeah, people write you off, God said, no, no. I see what's in you. Yeah. I know what's there. Hallelujah. Some people can't see because the hour of proportion. They just see as is. But God sees what you will become. Hallelujah. That's the difference. No? That's the God that will serve. He knows when I'm finished with him on earth. They are going to be a, a, the servant that I called them to be. Glory to God. When we can't see that ourselves, God sees it. Glory. And I thank God that he sees it. 
versus us trying to see it because we be ready to jump ship. But God sees what's in us, and then He turns around. And I, I said this before, but He, he puts a red crumb in the path. So that way you keep keep the keeps you focused, keep, and it's like He encourages you. There's a crumb there. He encourages encourage you like this. It keeps you, keeps you, keeps you coming. Keeps you, keeps you on focus. And, and, and that way it keeps you, keeps your mind going that God is God. He leaves the, he leaves the trail of trumps. And as we just continue to focus on him, we just keep eating those crumbs <laughs> and draw us closer to him at the same time. And we just keep growing and growing more in him. And I thank God again one more time. You're ready to say this. Thank God that he sees what's in us. Those who needs to be changed and will change. That's the thing about it. When we are in ourselves, we can't change ourselves. We can't, we can't do it. But God is the one that transforms us. And He will do it in His time. Because there are things that He, some things that we have to go through, and it's all the process of change. Because it makes us who we are today. Glory to God. If I were to jump ship on some things years ago, I would have to repeat some of the stuff because I, it was a, I didn't realize it was a test. It was a test. Sometimes you know, sometimes things are tests. Yeah. And we got to pass tests. In a natural grade, in a natural in a school, you want to go from the fourth to the fifth. They got to make sure that you're ready for the fifth. Otherwise, they don't want to pass you to be ready because it can hurt you. So God wants to make sure that we are equipped and we are ready for whatever he has to give us, whatever we have to go through, because he knows what we got to go through. We know what we got. So, at the very end, and last on Tuesday, you say, I wish you could come in and you not realize your true condition. See, that's right there. We're talking about we're just saying all that right there. You do not realize your true condition. God called them to turn, to turn. God called them to turn to him. The law wants to be the source of turning to you for everything. Hear my voice and open the door. That's the bottom line. Hear my voice and open the door. It says, enjoy fellowship with the Lord. Or the seal of the end of page 7 says, We must open the door of our lives and choose unbroken fellowship with Jesus. Those designed closest with Jesus to be finally helpful. We treat God much like a married person who treat his spouse with whom they want to be very close to the Lord. God's relationship. Ooh, this is a hard This is right to the point. My God. This is a marriage possible. Might advise himself, daily meetings, plan dates, and work on being responsive to their spouse's personal needs. The advice will also probably include the admonition to put their spouse first and not to try to change them. So a lot of times we try to change people. God is going to change people. God is going to transform people. But when we try to change them, we can be Makes it just worse. It's furthermore, sometimes something will probably be said about less nagging and more affirmation. Well, more encouraging. Whatever believers put the same kind of effort into the pursuit of God in prayer. Wow. And internalizing this, John William said, Here are some he says, make prayer first each day. Guard your prayer time and place. Pray in conversation with you. Being honest with God about all of your feelings. Plan personal prayer retreats, expecting positive feedback. Number five, talk to God everywhere. And about everything. Practically 
as you were the temple of your relationship with God, consider approaching prayer from a relationship angle. You might find your prayers including statements to God's similar to God's similar to these. How are you doing today? What do you want me to do in my situation? How do you want me to pray? Let me tell you about my struggles and fears. I want to feel what you are feeling and care about what you care about, my God. I need you to wrap your arms around me and be my affirmation. The blessed hope we have is that when we open our hearts to God, we will come. Glory to God. My God, my God. Glory to God. We thank God, my God, for this beautiful, beautiful lesson. My God, open the doors to us. Glory to God. Open the door, my God. So we thank God for, 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 I know, I, I'm sorry, no, I know I need to shout. People probably say, you missed, you missed it. <laughs> no, we thank God for, for, for God, you know what I'm saying? Thank God for doing what God wants to do. So, so we want to continue to open the door. Glory to God, as we knock. Glory to God, the Lord tells us that he will come in and suck. Continue to open the door to the Lord God Himself. So, thanks. We thank God for Him for being out this morning. Thank God for being pressed this morning. Thank God He is good. If nothing else, I'm not going to be this week. You get a chance to go grab something. You got a snack or something real fast. And we got our service. We're going to grab a God does. That's what we're That's what we're that's, 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 that's we at. Whatever God does. Glory to God. Whatever He does. Hallelujah. So, uh, we'll come back. Shortly, but go ahead and enjoy yourself. That's the snacks, and come on back. Um, so if nothing else, we'll stand and be dismissed. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength, my redeemer. In Jesus' name.